Wow. Who that? Who that? Who that said they're going to beat them Saints? And the Dallas Cowboys are the, now the second team to do it. Um, wow. Big shout out to the Cowboys, man. Um, shout out to the Saints, too, because this thing, it not necessarily looked over, but when Cowboys jumped out to that big lead, thir- the 13 0, um, it, it was looking like the Saints were just all sorts of disoriented, man. Um, this, this, was a, this was a real good game. This was a real good game. Real good game. Um, Cowboys, they trying to show that they for real, man. They are trying to show that they for real. And a win like this shows that, hey, wait a minute. These Cowboys, they may be something now. They may be something. I still say Saints going to the Super Bowl, but these Cowboys, they, they got the antidote. They got the antidote. Um, so, wow, that, that was a game, man. That was, that was a game. Um, Dak Prescott was pretty careful with the ball, <laughs> except when he got that pressure, man. When, when that same fast rush got to him, man, that, that ball started coming out. But um, throwing the ball, he was pretty careful with it, man. Super careful with the ball. And it wasn't just all dink and dunk. Um, he, he, was, he was completing a couple deep, deep passes, too. Uh, now, I know it killed him on that Gallup pass, man. Oh, uh, because... Eli Apple, he was struggling all night, man. This was not um, a good game for Eli Apple. Uh, oh, boy. And, I'm, I mean, I, I, was, I was happy for his sake that on that Gallup play that Dak overthrew it because that could, oh, boy. I mean, I, I'm sure his confidence was already messed up because from first quarter, they were just attacking this guy over and over and over and over and over. Um, but on that Gallup play where Gallup, Start running, stopped, cut, took off, and Eli Apple, he, boy, he, oh, wow. It was bad, man. It was bad. Uh, but Dak ended up overthrowing him a little bit, so. Whew. This was, wow. What a game. Uh, now, in this game, it featured a lot of, uh, a lot of bad calls, a lot of missed calls, and this was on both sides now. This was on both sides. Like, one, the helmet-to-helmet hit. Um, Jalen, uh, Jalen Smith got on Kamara and Kam- when Kamara got that one, boy, he, he Jalen Smith popped him and he went, he went, ooh, he felt that one. You could tell that should have been a, a first down. Um, the Cole Beasley, uh, it was Dak Prescott threw the Cole Beasley. It was in the fourth quarter when he threw the Cole Beasley, uh, and it was supposed to be, it should have been fourth down, but the refs ended up giving him a good spot. When I was watching it live, I can't even lie, I, I thought it was a first down live, but then when they showed the replay and they showed that knee down, I said, oh, okay, I, I, I did not catch that live at all. Um, but the Saints couldn't even challenge it because they were out of challenges. So that was that. Um, there was a missed face mask call on Cameron Jordan, I believe, uh, when he grabbed Dak Prescott's face mask on, was it a sack on that play? It was either a sack or maybe like a Dak Prescott gain or one. Uh, but they didn't call it. So Dak Prescott was just sitting there banging his head saying they, they should have called a face mask. But he then, he said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take this out of the ref's hands. I'm going to take this out of the ref's hands and put it in mine. And then following that play, it was a couple plays later. It was a third, I think it was like third and eight. Dak Prescott said, hike, drop back, look, nobody open. He said, okay, let me try to take off. And he took off and he... The first down he got, that, Dak Prescott was a man on that play, man. He was a man on that play. A man. He, and, and this is not the first time we've seen him do that this season. There's been a couple of moments like that. There was another one in the, in the Redskins game last week, I believe, where he just manned up. He was willing to take hits just to make sure that he gained them yards, man. So that, boy, he, he stepped up, boy. He stepped up. Um... Flipping it back to the, the Cowboys' defense, they, boy, you, you got to give kudos to them. Whether you're a Saints fan or not, who, Redskins or Eagles or Giants fan, or whoever you're a fan of, man, you have to give Cowboys' defense their props. You got to. You got to. Like, there, I remember Adam Schefter this morning at like either 4 or 5 in the morning, he tweeted out that the, um, the Saints... They, they've only scored, 
Wait a minute. Yeah, they've only scored less than 30 in like two games this season. Uh, and the Cowboys, oh, what was the statistic about the Cowboys? I think their defense hasn't given up more than 30 points. Something like that. I forgot what it was. But I had replied to the tweet. I said, oh, I said, well, the Saints are about to, uh, they're about to get a lot more than 30 tonight. I thought the Saints were going to just blow this thing out the water. I did. I thought in my uh, pre- preview uh, video for the games for this week, I thought, Thought that this game was going to be close for a little while, but then the Saints were just going to start taking off. And they never did. So kudos to that Cowboys defense. They, I mean, kind of like right before the game started, you kind of felt a little bit of that, uh, that, that upset feeling. Like an upset could be coming. Um, just especially with how everybody, including myself, uh, was just so high on the Saints for this game. And felt like the Saints were just going to just kill it, man. So, I mean, it, it did bring them back down to reality a little bit, and, and they haven't felt this way since week one. So, so Saints fans, so, <laughs> trust me, it's okay. It's okay. What are they, 10 and 2? <laughs> Big problem there, huh? No, not at all. Uh, like I said, I, I still think the Saints are going to be going to the Super Bowl, but Cowboys, boy, they, they came tonight, man. They came tonight. They wasn't messing around. Uh, Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. Sean Lee, man, I, 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 again, I said this in another video before, too. They, they, don't make, they don't make Cowboys fans miss Sean Lee, man. They don't, make them, they don't make Cowboys fans miss Sean Lee. There's no way that the Cowboys fans really got to be missing Sean Lee, man. I mean, he missed enough games as it is already because he's always hurt. So, I mean, you can't miss what's never really there. So, they just, when the Cowboys do get rid of Sean Lee... Hopefully for the Cowboys, it'll be this year. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how his contract is set up. I don't know the guaranteed amount of money on it. But those two guys will make the transition that much easier. Cowboys defense did not let Drew Brees get comfortable all night. I've never seen Drew Brees look like that. He looked uncomfortable. He threw two picks. Cowboys only caught one of them, but he threw two. He threw one of them super early in the game. But... Cowboys cornerback just couldn't, he couldn't make it in time. But he, he just, he was not comfortable all night. And it, there, was, there was one sack where they got him and he just, it looked like he just, he seemed like he curled up like a kid, man. That guy, wow. They, <laughs> Cowboys was not messing around. They were back there. They beat up on that Saints offensive line. And they, they backed up all the trash talk too. They backed up all of their trash talk. All of it. All of it. Said they was going to hit him in the mouth. Said they were going to hit the offensive line in the mouth, and they did just that. Um, but the game, the game had it. The, the Saints, I thought the Saints were going to get one more chance. I thought the Saints were going to get one more chance to uh, get a game winning drive or a game tie in drive. I really thought they were going to. And then late, late, late in the fourth quarter, with like a little more than a minute left, it was second. It was like second and eight. Dak Prescott was in shotgun, had two receivers on the left, two receivers on the right. He hiked the ball, did a little baby fake to uh, Ezekiel Elliott, and then he looked for Amari Cooper, man. He looked for Amari Cooper, and why not? Because Cooper was, Cooper, man, he has shown he's been worth every bit of that first round pick. A lot of people, including myself, just doubted it. I'm like, man, a first round pick for Amari Cooper? What? Why would you do that? Why? Guys like Golden Tate going for a third. Demarius Thomas, what did he go for? Like a fourth? I forgot what Demarius Thomas went for. But I'm like, man, like you really get a first for Amari Cooper? But Amari Cooper has been, he's been the best fit, made the biggest impact on his team out of all them receivers that were traded. So he's been more than worth it. More than worth it. But back to that play, it was second and, I think like second and eight. And they said, no, we're not going to try to run out the clock. We're trying to take these dudes out. So they did a, a pass that was low risk, high reward because he passed it to where the cornerback wouldn't have been able to get it and only the receiver could get it. And if the receiver couldn't get it, then nobody could. Um, so he passed the ball and then I, I believe it was Marshawn Lattimore, but he, Marshawn Lattimore had touched Amari Cooper and it was one of those where you could understand why they called pass interference, but if they wouldn't have called it, you could understand, understood why too. But he did make contact with him, 
But the thing with, uh, and, and they did it quick too. It was quick. Well, I mean, it, it had to be because it, it ain't that much space in, uh, in the end zone. But Marshawn Lattimore, if he would have turned around, that would have been the clock stopping. Um, and they would have been, they would have been straight. They would have been straight. The clock would have stopped, so they would have still had a chance to, to stop the Cowboys one more time and give Drew Brees some time to go down the field and do what he does. Well, not what he was doing tonight, but uh, they would have had him get, they would have given, given him a chance. But since Marshawn Lattimore didn't turn around, <sighs> pass interference, game over. And boy, again, like I said, that was a game, man. That was such a good game. Um, Cowboys, Cowboys, this game, I don't know, this game, it was a lot. It felt like Cowboys just dominated throughout. And had it not been for Randy Gregory with the, and, and I felt like he was just his body carrying that momentum. Um, had it not been for Randy Gregory getting that penalty on the punt where he ran into, um, uh, what's his name, Tom Morstead, the Saints punter. Had it not been for that, who knows? Uh, this game, it might have been over before. It might have been over even before uh, before it actually ended. But boy, because that penalty like saved the Saints. They're getting ready to punt. Well, they did punt, but he ended up not even just running into the game, but roughing him. When you watch it live, I was like, man, I was like, this dude just tackled the punter. Why would you do something so stupid? But then they showed the replay. And the replay, it just looked like it was his body and the momentum. He was just really eager to try to block the punt. And his body just kept rolling. I mean, these dudes, 250, 300 pounds, man, you, they can't just stop on a dime like that. Uh, but, man, that, that cost him. That really brought the Saints back in the game. Uh, but, boy, that, this Cowboys defense. This Cowboys defense. Again, Van Der Esch, and Jalen Smith, they, those dudes were having so much fun. They were on the sidelines dancing. Van Der Esch kept going, woo! And I said, man, these dudes were hype, man. They were hype. And they deserved to be. They deserved to be. They just took out the, the best offense in the NFL. Or is that the Chiefs? No, that's the Saints. Either way, man, they took out one of the best offenses in the NFL. And they held them to, to what, 10 points? 10 points. If anybody would have told me the Saints were going to score just 10 points in this game, I would have said, you're a fool. You're a fool. I would have told them they don't even believe themselves. You're a fool if you believe something like that. But Cowboys believed it, and, they, and it showed up. Um, what happens with Jason Garrett now, man? Depending on how the season goes. Because Jason Garrett has been a talk from a lot of Cowboys fans. They've been wanting to get him fired. They've been wanting him to be fired for a super long time now. What happens if this continues? Ooh, I don't know, man. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Cowboys fans, congrats. Saints fans, relax. Because it's, it's just your second loss in the entire season. So I'm sure you guys will be just fine. I'm out. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Good night.